Born from a dispute between New York and New Hampshire, Vermont became the 14th state to enter the Union in 1791. By 1860, Vermont's population had boomed to 315,000. Vermonters, like their brethren from the American Revolution, hearkening back to the days of Ethan Allen and the Green Mountain Boys, came to the Union cause. They'll form brigades under Lewis Grant and George Standard and help repulse Pickett's charge at Gettysburg. They'll fight at 2nd Fredericksburg, the Battle of the Wilderness, Cedar Creek, and then even help break through the lines at Petersburg in April of 1865. In Windsor, the Lawrence and Robbins Armory is going to kick their production into high gear, and they will produce 1.5 million small arms for the Union cause. Vermont also boasts the oldest private military college in the United States, Norwich University, which is my alma mater. Norwich produced nearly 700 officers and enlisted men who fought for the Union cause. Norwich graduates included William Bull Nelson, Truman Seymour, and Grenville Dodge, and also the Secretary of the Navy during the American Civil War, Gideon Wells. Norwich will also produce no less than four recipients of the Medal of Honor. While removed from most of the major combat areas, Vermont did endure a raid from Confederates in October of 1864, when a small band of Confederates slipped out of Canada and raided St. Albans. Confederates launched the raid in retaliation against Northerners for their poor treatment of Southern troops who are now being held in Union prisoner of war camps. Today, Vermont boasts many Civil War sites, including the birthplace of Stephen Douglas, Robert Todd Lincoln, who was the Secretary of War for the United States and the only Lincoln son to reach adulthood, also lived in Vermont. Union Generals George Stannard and Oliver Otis Howard are both buried in Lakeview Cemetery. Several members of the famous 54th Massachusetts Infantry, one of the first African-American units to fight for the Union cause, are buried in Woodstock's River Cemetery. If you're traveling through Vermont, we hope that you'll stop by some of their Civil War sites and know that there's more there to visit than just Ben and Jerry's factory. <laughs>